The future of air defense has arrived. What we saw in science fiction is now a reality. Laser weapons that once flickered on screens in movies like Star Wars and Star Trek as fantasy weaponry will switch on for real over Israel sky. And with the press of a button, invisible columns of concentrated light will race out at the speed of light to burn rockets and drones out of the air. Well, we are talking about Israel's Iron Beam. And on December 30, 2025, the Israel Defense Forces formally rolls out the new air defense tech, which is a high energy laser system and world's first operational deployment of such an interceptor in the combat zone. Well, Iron Beam has been designed to complement Israel's multi-layer defense network, which is already one of its kind in the world. Developed by Rafal Advanced Defense Systems, this rollout represents a pivotal moment in military history, which is set to fundamentally change the rule of engagement on the battlefield. Well, in this edition of From the News Desk, we'll tell you everything about the Iron Beam, from how it works to how it is different from the conventional air defense systems. The Iron Beam is a 100 kilowatt ground-based laser air defense system designed to neutralize short-range threats including rockets, motor bombs and unmanned aerial vehicles. While it will not replace the iconic Iron Dome, it is designed to serve as the complementary lowest layer in Israel's multi-layered defense architecture. In fact, the December 30 handover follows a year of accelerated development and successful live-fire tests where the system demonstrated the ability to completely burn rocket engines, mortar shells and drone wings in mid-flight. Well, as per the reports, the first operational batteries are expected to be deployed immediately near the Gaza and Lebanon borders to counter high-volume saturation attacks that have previously exhausted kinetic interceptor supplies of Israel. Now, here's the most interesting part. Unlike traditional air defense systems that launch a physical projectile to collide with a target, Iron Beam kills with pure heat. This system utilizes a fiber laser to generate a high energy beam of light. And the core technological breakthrough lies in its adaptive optics. Let me tell you in a simple manner. The atmosphere distorts laser beams much like heat haze on a road, which normally weakens their power over distance. Iron Beam sensors measure this atmospheric distortion and corrects the beam in real time, allowing it to maintain perfect focus. Once logged on, the system merges multiple laser beams into a single concentrated column of energy, roughly the diameter of a coin. When this focused light hits a fast-moving target such as a rocket warhead or a drone's fuel tank, it heats the material to thousands of degrees within seconds. And the result? The structural integrity of the target fails causing it to implode or tumble out of the sky. Now, the Iron Beam addresses the most critical drawback in the conventional air defense systems, the cost asymmetry of modern warfare. Let's understand with the help of an example. Currently, terror groups can fire a $500 crude rocket or fly a $1,000 drone, forcing Israel to launch an Iron Dome interceptor costing roughly $50,000 to short it down. In a prolonged conflict, this economic disparity bleeds defense budgets dry. Now, the Iron Beam flips this equation. Its ammunition is electricity. As long as the unit has power from a grid or a generator, it has an infinite magazine. You may ask what's cost per shot? Around $3.50, little more than the price of a cup of a coffee, powered purely by electricity. Magazine depth? There is no magazine. As long as the power flows, the beam keeps firing. Next comes the reaction time. Not seconds, not a fraction of a second. It hits at the ultimate speed of the universe, the speed of light. And when it's done, there is no twisted metal crashing back as there is no interceptor debris raining down on cities. Just a silent burn in the sky and the threat is erased. However, the laser has its limitation. It cannot shoot through heavy clouds, fog or sandstorms 
and its effective range is roughly 10 kilometers, much shorter than Iron Dome's 90 kilometer reach. The development of Iron Beam is a watershed moment for the global defense industry. For decades, power like United States, China, and Russia have researched laser weapon, but Israel is the first to integrate them into a live national defense network. Now, this success validates the operational viability of direct energy weapons and likely triggering a global arms race to procure similar systems. In fact, defense analysts already predict a shift where nations will adopt a hybrid defense model, using cheap lasers for cheap threats like drone swans and reserving expensive kinetic missiles for high-value targets like ballistic missiles. As of now, for Israel, the Iron Dome offers a strategic breathing room. By handling the cheap threats that saturate radars, it frees up the Iron Dome to focus on more complex dangers, ensuring the Jewish state maintains its defense edge in an era of automated, low-cost aerial warfare.